welcome back and let me show you another amazing automation for Ramadan month for all the restaurants owner out there and you know how important this month is for all the restaurant owners so this automation is going to boost your business and improve your profits a lot and here we are going to automate your food ordering process with the help of a few applications let me show you how so guys this will be the flow of this automation here uh, i have created an order form by using jot form application you can use any other form building application just as google forms or type form etc so here as and when any person is going to fill this form for making an order and as and when you are going to receive the order a confirmation message of that order is going to be delivered on the whatsapp account of your customer automatically so you need not to uh, sort out the contact details you need not to do anything manually to type a message as and when you receive an order the order confirmation will be delivered automatically and this is going to save a huge amount of time of yours and guys to create this automation we are using Pabli connect which is an integration and automation tool and the best part is you don't have to have any uh, coding skills or programming knowledge to set up this automation so anyone can set up this automation very easily so now let's set up this automation together so the first step to set, set up this automation is to log in into your Pabli connect account and for to reach here you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli connect account in just two minutes and it will provide you 100 free automation tasks for every month okay right so uh, now you have to create a workflow of automation in this dashboard so to create a workflow you just have to click here on this create workflow button and here you can give uh, any suitable or beautiful name to your workflow so I'm giving the name as automated food ordering system okay right and now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created on this page and here you will find the trigger and the action so this automation is going to work on this trigger and the action so the trigger is the event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger as in our use case the trigger would be receiving of the order from a form that you have created and the action would be is to send the confirmation message for that order okay so i have created a form with the help of jot form application here is the order form you can see okay so from here any person can order things from your restaurant or from your for business okay and uh, so first of all uh, in this trigger step you need to connect your jot form application so jot form is our trigger application so search for jot form here and in that action event select new response okay and here it is uh, showing you this webhook URL so with the help of this webhook URL we are going to make the connection and we are going to fetch the data with the help of this URL of uh, any demo order that you're receiving here in this response okay and with the help of that demo data only we are going to move forward in this automation so to make this connection uh, you can read the instructions written here let me show you how you can do this first of all just click on copy from here and copy this webhook url then go to your jot forms dashboard this is my jot forms dashboard and here i'm going to click on this more button this is the form i have created okay and in this form I am going to click on settings and under the settings page uh, you will find this integrations option on the left hand side panel click on integrations and under this integrations you can search for webhooks here this is webhooks click on webhooks and you can see an, an integration is already up and running here so let me remove this integration first all right now you can search for webhooks okay and under the webhooks in this add webhook field you have to paste the webhook url that you have copied from Pabli connect like this and then click on complete integration and you can see that integration is ready and here as you have copied this webhook url it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response so this means now you have to do a test submission this means now you have to fill in the form on the behalf of any demo customer and we are going to capture the demo response here okay 
so this is my form let me fill in the details of the person as this uh, mr zakir khan is making this order this is the email id of this person this is the phone number okay let me fill in the correct phone number right and in the delivery address this is the delivery address okay and the things he can order is the list of these are the list of the things i am just showing you the demo so i have uh, added these products you can uh, add any product as you can wish you can add uh, dishes uh, cuisines any kind of thing okay so here let's say this person wants to order 1 kg mango 1 kg apple 1 kg watermelon 1 kg dates and one bottle of Ruafsa, okay and I'm submitting this form and you can see the order has been received and let's check in public and if we got the date of this order and here in this response received section you can see the order details as this okay so it will show you all the things that you can capture from uh, the form like this okay right all right so now after fetching the response, I want to send the confirmation message about this order that I received on the WhatsApp account. So guys, uh, to send message on WhatsApp account, uh, we are using 360 dialog application, which have the access of WhatsApp's API. Okay. And under this, I'll tell you more about that application later, but, uh, there in the message, let me show you, uh, But guys, uh, in the order confirmation message, we need to mention uh, the order details like we are going to mention the things that the uh, the dishes and the things that the person have ordered. We are going to mention that we are going to mention the total billing amount and the delivery date and time as well. OK, so to get these things, uh, we need to apply a few steps before we connect uh, that application by which we are going to send the message. So in this action step, I'm going to use a feature by Pabli, which is called line itemizer, and it will uh, give me the details of the products uh, in separated by commas. Okay, let me show you. First of all, toggle this uh, in the first step where we have captured the order, toggle this response button to off. So here you can see we got the details of the order in this format, but uh, uh, to use line itemizer, you need to capture the response in advanced format. So you will get the advanced format response by toggling this simple response button to off. Okay. Now let me recapture the webhook response. Click on yes. All right. And start showing waiting for the response again. Let me make another demo purchase or order from the form. Okay. And let us fill the same details again. Okay. Because this is an our uh, demo order. All right. And these are the things he wants to order. Right. And I'm submitting the form. Now let's check in public connect if we got the data. And here you can see now the data is uh, this. And in this label, you can see raw request my products label. It will show you the products that the person have ordered in this format. Okay. Right. So this is the array of data format you can see. And now I'm going to uh, convert this data into a simpler form by using line itemizer. And so from here, from this choose app field in this section step, you have to uh, search for data transformer. Okay. And in the data transformers action event, we have to select this line itemizer. So it will convert the line items to comma separated text or values. Okay. Select this and click on connect. And now it is asking for the line items array. So I'm going to map this array here. This my products array. Okay. So come here and click on click on this field and it will give you this jot form new response option in the drop down, which is our first step. So from here only search for the uh, uh, products array. So 
you will find this product array here map it like this all right then click on save and send test request and it will give you the product's name here separated by commas okay and here we got the unit prices separated by commas and the currency and the quantity as well okay so now we can easily map such things in the message okay after that we need to have a delivery date also so to get the delivery date click here on this plus icon and from this choose a field search for date time formatter by pably date time formatter okay and in the action event you have to select current date option so we are going to deliver all the products on the same date on which the order has been received okay so click on connect and now i am going to fetch the date in this in this format okay and uh, if you want to include the time you can include the time as well or if you just want to put the date you can put the date okay now click on save and send test request and you will get the date as this okay right now i am going to send the message of a confirmation to my customer and to send the message you need to connect 360 dialog application and why we are using this application because to send the messages on whatsapp directly you need to have the access of whatsapp's api so guys to 360 dialog is an application which provides the official access to whatsapp's api and by using that application we can send messages on whatsapp so search for 360 dialog and in the action event you have to select send template message option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and here it will ask for the api key and the domain name all right so guys uh, to make the connection for the first time with 360 dialog you need to have these two things okay and to get these two things you need to reach the dashboard of uh, 360 dialog application and here you need to click on whatsapp accounts page and under this whatsapp accounts page you will find this key showing generate api key okay this button so by clicking on this button you can generate a key for yourself okay and then you have to paste the key here and you will get the domain as well while generating the key that will look like this link so you have to paste the domain here okay so guys uh, creating a api key here is a one-time task only once you get a key generated for yourself you can make the connection by using the same key again and again afterwards also okay so uh, i have already generated a key so i am i can use the same key and making the connection by this process by filling the api key and the domain name is also a one-time task once you made the connection by filling these two things after that you can use existing connection option and then you have you don't have to do fill you don't have to fill anything by selecting existing connection you just click on save and you'll be connected as i have already generated a key and already made a connection with 360 dialog in a different workflow i can use existing connection option and now i just have to click on save and you can see that i'm going to be connected with 360 dialog in a few moments like this okay now it is asking which template that you are using uh, to send the messages so first of so before selecting the template let me tell you what templates are so in 360 dialog first of all you need to create a template uh, to send the message so templates are nothing but the predefined message structures uh, to send the messages to people on whatsapp okay so here you can create such templates to provide spamming so after select uh, creating the template and submitting the template whatsapp's parent company that is facebook or meta will review your template and approve your template okay so to create a template like this you need to click here on this add template button and here you can give a template's name you can select the category of your template you can select the language of the template okay and here you can select the template's type as well and here in the body field you have to type the main message that you want to send to your customer or to anyone okay and in that message you need to have a few variable things like me let me show you uh, an existing template here you can see after hi i have this one two three and four in double curly braces so uh, these are the variable tags or body fields of the message as you can see this uh, message i have created 
for an appointment okay for an appointment i have created this message template so here after hi i am going to put the name of the person who have booked the appointment okay and this is a kind of reminder message for the appointment and the confirmation also so here i am going to uh, in the second body field i am going to map the uh, appointments purpose appointments date and time so these are the things that are going to change with every new appointment and every new booking so you need to have these body fields here in this message template okay so after creating the template and getting your template approved you can use it to send message so the template i am using here is this one uh, confirm underscore order so i have selected my template confirm underscore order i can show you this also in 360 dialog this is the message template i have created for this order confirmation purpose okay and to get these body fields filled automatically with every new message we need to map the body fields the value of the body fields here so after selecting the template it will show you the body fields here like this okay so first of all map the recipient's mobile number or the whatsapp number so you will get the phone number or the whatsapp number from the first step from where you have captured the demo response from the form or order from the form okay so to map the number just come here and click on this field and from this jot form step find the phone number and map it i need to map the phone number in this format with a plus sign and a country code so let me put a plus sign here and the country code as well okay now map the body fields according to the template so here first of all i'm going to mention the name of the person who have ordered the product ordered the food okay so you will find the person's name here in this uh, from the first step from the jot form step you can see from the here you can map the name let's map the full name now i am going to map uh, the things that the person have ordered so to map the things i am going to use this second step the line itemizer step from where i have uh, i have separated the i have converted the data that we got from the first step in this se comma separated values so these are the products ordered so map it and the third body field let me show you okay so in the third body field i am going to map the date on which i am delivering the uh, package so we'll get the date from this third step which is this and the body field fourth i'm going to map the amount the total amount and you will find the total amount in the first step from where you have captured the from where you have captured the orders data okay so the total amount you will find here is this in this my product total info total sum label this is the okay uh, amount map it okay right and let me let me close this by this sign okay all right and here you can uh, enter the name of your store okay so i am uh, manually putting here pably store so this is going to remain the same for every message so you can put the name of your store or your restaurant or any business you have okay now uh, let me show you how the message will look like in whatsapp because i have the access of what this whatsapp's account this is a demo number we are using and let me show you how the message will look like so this is the whatsapp account guys of a, of our customer and here i am clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens and we have received a new message you can see and the message is this order confirmed hello zakir khan thank you for shopping with us your order of this these products is confirmed we'll deliver a package by this date your amount is this okay so this is how it is going to work in real time guys so we are done setting up the automation and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually here in the workflow after that it is going to run automatically as and when you receive the order the message will be delivered okay and guys the best part is you can use the same workflow that i've just created because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start running this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section 
And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.